because it's Amanda with Americana Gardens and I am shopping at, can you get a good one? Lowe's right there. <laughs> so um, this is actually one of my favorite places to shop. I usually, well I have gotten most of my perennials here like on clearance and stuff so when I go in I'm gonna check out the clearance rack. Okay, that's gonna be my first. Then I'm gonna go through the garden center and check out what's good with the rest of the garden center plants and then I'm gonna go do the indoor plants and I will put a timestamp down for each of them on the screen here and also I'll do it in the description in case you guys just you know care about indoor plants or what the clearance ones are so um yeah I'm excited to check it all out I used to work at this store so maybe I'll see some previous co-workers slash friends there and that would be cool and yeah, we'll see what we can find. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of cool things. Hey, so I actually saw one of my friends here. She actually uh, took my older position, so that's really cool. She's doing a great job. So if you're watching this Barbie, good job! And um, so I'm at the death plant racks. The, wait, death rack, plant, death racks. Death plant racks, that's what I meant to say and we're just gonna go through them. I usually don't get animals, any wools off of them, but they do have like shrubs and perennials that are totally worth it. Yeah, so like right here, the endless summer hydrangeas, like they're not looking bad. Oh, and they're on clearance too. So anything over 15 bucks would be half off. So these would be fit, come down to 15 bucks. Ooh, Blushing Bride. You know what? This actually has really, really, really neat fall color to it. Yo, these hydrangeas are like solid. Well, I mean, they're definitely clearance worthy, but, um, ooh, yeah, that's pretty. That's nice. Bloomstruck and Blushing Bride. They're like my favorite. They do have the pink one here. What is it called? Like Summer Crash? Yeah, Summer Crash. Uh, they do have that pink, pink, pink one, but I'm just not a fan of that. But yeah, 15 bucks. Nice, two gallon pots. Oh, and here's some sad marigolds. <laughs> yeah, they're, I, like, I don't know why they use black pots, the growers, because the black just attracts the heat and fries the root system. <laughs> but, yeah, like, what are these, um, 13.50? So that would come down to seven bucks. Three, six, nine, and you have 12 of them, but like only maybe half of them are even salvageable. So, like what, a dollar for one? That's, that's not a deal in my opinion. What do we got here? Whiskey barrels. Ooh, here we go. The lily, the Asiatic lilies. Ooh, Asiatic, 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 yeah. Oh, those are half off, so it would be like nine bucks roughly. I think that's still too much. That's just, you're mainly paying for these cheap plastic pods. Lots of dead roses. And yeah, I just want to let you know that if you see like the clearance rack, like with lots of dead stuff, like these roses and things like that, it's, the clearance rack is like usually the less important thing that the workers have to do. Oh, look at that. So it does, it's not neglectful, it's just they have other more important things to do. Those are nice healthy leaves in there. Mm. Let's walk around. Some more hydrangeas. Okay. Oh, here we go, some perennials. Yes, some sky blue marvel salvia, 12 bucks. So these would come down to seven. Let's see this bloom here. Focus, focus, come. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, salvias are totally worth it. It's seven bucks because it's like Monrovia name brand. But usually if you get like the store kind, it's usually cheaper. Yeah, Proven Winners. Oh, Violet Profusion. That's a beautiful one right there. 
That would be seven bucks as well. Yeah, they got the grasses. Grasses are tough. They are like, no grass likes to stay in its pot just because it's such a fast grower. It doesn't matter how much you water it, like you will always get the browns in it. These are annuals. Yeah, so it'll come down to seven bucks. Yeah, I don't I don't think I would pay seven bucks for an annual that looks like that. That's Lowe's corporate pricing for you. Ah, oh, and over here we have some gorgeous peonies. Old Rose Dandy. A toe peony. I hope I pronounced that right. Lots of seed. Wow, that's one heck of a seed head on it. Whoa. i never seen a peony do that. Maybe because I cut all the blooms off. I don't know. But, okay. 35 bucks. So it would be like half off. Uh, that's kind of like 17 bucks. Mm. I don't know. I just buy the bulbs. Like early on in the year. But I guess like the like you won't find this in bulb form in like mass sales. Like how Lowe's and like Home Depot and all those stores do that. In the very beginning of the year, they have their bulbs out, but they're very basic colors, but this one's like really pretty. Alright, looks like we got some butterfly bushes down here. Yeah, so that would be like 14 bucks. Puckster pink. These are really, really great. Low maintenance shrubs. Very beautiful. I have a bunch of uh, blue ones. Look at those blooms. I mean, they get like fat and chunky. I like it. Oops, sorry for that noise. The pucksters, they, they get really fat blooms. Like the blooms will probably be like that round. It's a clearance price. I think it's pretty much like with all those that they kind of have the same pricing. Lots of azaleas. There's always red azaleas. I feel like people just don't dig red. Ooh, but here's this lovely purple one. Nice. It also has like those dots like in the center right there. Let's see how much that is. 35 bucks. So, not bad. It's an evergreen too. Lots more azaleas over here. Beautiful pink ones. And then, ooh, just up here. Native plants. This is what we call a witch hazel. Okay, that's, it's, it's not marked, but it most likely is on clearance because there's two, three of them up here. 24 bucks, so it'll come down to 12 bucks for a witch hazel. Ooh, look at the leaves. Let me see here. I like the I like the shape of the leaves too. Hope that's in focus. But the blooms are like the first to bloom in the you know late winter, early spring. I'll I'll deal with anything with color. <laughs> yeah, and here we have this Monrovia mixture pot. Oh, look at those caladiums. Those are pretty. Love that. That's not bad, 20 bucks. Like this is somewhat healthy. I mean, you just need to do some cleanup, but I'll do the cleanup for you. <laughs> but yeah, the caladiums, they don't, I mean, there's like probably like what, one or two of them that look rough. Yeah, like that one has like some browning on it, but oh, that's pretty. So spirea, we got some spirea here. Look at the color of these leaves. Like they're like that year round. Awesome spring color. And then late spring, they have these like little blooms. You can get them in different colors too. But then also in the fall, that just like, it's really pretty. Let me see, Coretta Scott King. I don't know if these are scented or not, but I would love to get a purple one. Here's some more butterfly bushes. 
Oh, this is like the blue one you can see here. But, um, yeah, Miss Violet butterfly bush. Great perennials here. This is Russian sage, blue steel. So this will come down to $4. And these are just like, oh, the aroma off these. Mmm. This and lavender are like my favorite scented perennials. I will definitely get some of these today. I mean, there, there's a quite a few, so I'm gonna get them. They could go on my hill in front of my house. Over here are some larger shrubs, palms. <laughs> some arborvitaes. Ooh, look how crooked that is. <laughs> this one doesn't look terrible. It just needs to be planted correctly. 30 bucks though for one. It would come down to 30 bucks. I mean, it's a taller one, but why are arborvitaes so expensive? I guess because they take a while to grow and they're evergreen. I'm going to have to get a whole bunch to finish my, uh, my living fence, if you will. But yeah, I think on the one side, I'm just going to end up doing this type of arborvitae, the emerald green. And then on the other side of my yard, I'm going to do this giant green giant arborvitae. This is more fast growing. All right, let's go inside and check out the house plants. All right, here we are at the house plants. Awesome. Live trends and cap. Ooh, I love these. These are my favorite pothos. Yes. Beautiful. These must these must be new. Or they're taking care of them cuz they're they look pretty decent. And then you also have these cute little like funny succulent holder things. <laughs> cute. And these are like a kettle ball. Almost. They remind me of a kettle ball. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I would really like to do like something decorative with these. Um, I might have to order them online though, because I want like big ones. Let's see what we got in here. Some variegated something. Oh, it just says assorted foliage. So, I just saw another friend of mine, so I had to stop and talk. But yeah, um, kettle balls. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we got down here. Um, it looks like a, it reminds me of a calathea. Ooh, I love that dark underside to it. The green leaves with the speckling of that variegation. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, and I love myself an asparagus fern. I love them. How much do they want for it? Like 12 bucks or something, 13 bucks. There's no price tag. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, 14 bucks. Inflation. Little alocasia, so cute. Nice, see, I like these smaller plants like this because if y'all know like my house tours that I do for my indoor house plants, like I want all the plants, so I have to get them small. I don't want big ones. I believe this is the Calathea, right? It very much reminds me of the Calathea. Um, but I love that green. It's like light green, medium green, dark green. That is very beautiful. Oh, and here's another one back there, tucked in. Awesome. This looks really nice in here. Like the last time I came, it was just like older stuff, so it was like, you know, starting to wear and tear. But these look really nice and fresh. Syngoniums, love those. Let's see here, this is another Syngonium here. I really like that green and white variegation one. <clears throat> Let's see here. I love these pots. I like I got a lavender colored one. Like a pale lavender one. It's so pretty. I just put my Stella Calathea in it. But I really I do like these pots. Mmm. Oh. And look at this right here. Oh, I love that coloring. 
<laughs> and an Emma Boston fern. Lovely. I will kill it. I just bought a fern, but I can't help myself. I love them. Even though they just don't like the humidity level in my room or in my house. Oh yeah, this is a nice one right here. I like this pot too. It's very clean, modern, chic, and you got the wooden bottom. Uh, the skindapsis here, oh. Lots of leaves coming out. Nice. What we got under here? Ah, I mean, you know, my coworker was just talking about this money tree right here. Look how fat it is at the bottom. <laughs> it's funny, she's thick. What is it, like 14 bucks? I don't know. Oh, it's missing a leg. wonder how that happened. Still got these, like, begonias. They're really cute, though. Like, how they just, like, fall and then they have new babies. Kind of like that spider plant, but it's a begonia. Uh, see, these are like my size right here. Little alocasias. Oh, interesting. This says rabbit foot fern. But this isn't a rabbit foot. It's an alocasia. I wonder if somebody swapped it out. But you guys shouldn't... Guys, if you're going to swap out pots, make sure it's the correct pot and you don't mess up their inventory. Just letting you know. Oh, this is another little Calathea. I like this pot. Ooh, it's so cute. Hold on. Yeah, like right here, it says Calathea. So the plant matches its pot. What we got back here? Ooh, I like it with the red. It's a philodendron of some type. Mm. Like the rhubarb stems too. Oh, and you got these little uh, bromeliads. Neat. Oh, it's stuck in the begonia string. Oh, yeah, like see, rabbit foot fern. Those are so cute. Oh, look at this begonia. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I think you will be coming home with me for six bucks. Psh, you're coming home. You are coming home with me. Let's see. Some palms, ZZ plants, ferns, and agonias. These are really nice syngoniums here, too. Again, I love that green and white. And look at these. I love the waffle plants. This one's pretty, too. Very dark green with the light veining. <laughs> oh, a snow white waffle plant. Excuse me, I gotta be more specific. This one's neat. Goldcrest false Aurelia. Oh, that variegation on it. Like, I mean, like around the tips of that the edging of the plant right there. If I get my hand out of the way, you could probably see it better. That's pretty. That's neat. I have a bunch of little pots that I could use these to like fill in. <clears throat> oh, but isn't this one beautiful? The Snow Queen, is it? Pothos? I forget. Ah. Our Marble Queen. Oh, look at that. It's just so like fresh and clean looking. Alright, I'm gonna work over here now. 
This is like more like a larger plant section. They got these gorgeous orchids. Love the purples. I always love purples. Another alocasia poly. <clears throat> Some ZZ ravens that I desperately need to pick up at one point in my life. It needs to be a part of my collection. Some figs. All right, let's go on the other side. Well, some gorgeous little violets, African violets. Oh, I love that sweet little purple, that lilac, lavendery purple. <gasps> oh, and then you have this one, oh, that white one with the purple uh, outline to it. Ooh, that's pretty. Classic. That's the only one I see that's like that. I think this needs to come home with me too. Else. Yeah. Oh, and these silver sword philodendrons, like, I can't believe more people are not grabbing these up because, I mean, look at the size of that leaf. And then they're only like 15, 16 bucks, something like that. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. And I always like these Sansevierias. Okay, I'm totally just gonna wait until some of these like little pots go on clearance. Look at that little alert, it's really, uh, the dark ones. <gasps> How cute is that? With like the, the contrast of color. It's really pretty. Yeah, these are just, I love like the little um, plant designs on the pots. They're so cute. Okay, and there's some heads. Yeah, there's some heads. Some big figs. <laughs> oh, look at these out. That's wild with the red in it. Or that orange, I should say. That's really neat. Fuzzy little pandas. Mmm. Right, and there's some home weapons right here. You know, just throw them, throw them at people who invade your home. They'll run. Oh, and here's like the rock plant. Ooh, the pink in there, cool. Yeah, I just like the pots and most of these succulents. Like this one reminds me of like being in Mexico or something. Just, and I don't mean that as an insult. It's a compliment very bright all right and this is the clearance but it looks like it's mostly succulents but we'll we'll take a look at what's good here Ooh, look at that stem on that one so mostly what you would do if you get these on clearance you would just like take off this leaf and make it like a cut in between these two right here and just stick it like water like spray water right? and then stick it in soil and it will become a nice little rosette. Yeah. And then you could also just keep the leaves, spray the tips, put it in soil, like even just lay it on there. And they'll make rosettes too in time. I like these little boxes. They're so rustic and cool. 20 bucks. Oh no, it's 26. Oh yeah, that's kind of pricey for me. Even if it's on clearance. A terracotta pot. Oh, it's in a heart shape. You'll see that? It's a heart, oh, that's so cute. 24 bucks, it's cheaper than the one in the pot. So it'll come down to 12 bucks. 
I usually just propagate all these. Nice, neat. Let's see here. Oh, these are, these are, oh, I love those. I love these pots. How much? 12, okay, so I think that would come down to seven bucks. Yeah, those pots are so cool. Like, we have somebody who stole this one. Um, I will put that in a place. I know, I know who to give that to. Yeah, that was stolen. Not cool. Because there was an air plant in it, if y'all remember, and there's no air plants in here. So somebody just like came back here and like tries to hide and they steal. By the way, like we know who steals. <laughs> so you will get caught. They actually just built cases. Um, so you may not like get stopped the first time, but you know, when your price tag is racking up, they really, they will go after you. Y'all think you may be slick, but you're not. Well, there's some decent healthy ones in there. How much is this one? Ugh. 26. Okay, so 13 bucks, roughly 14 bucks. It's not terrible. And then some columbine plants that belong outside. And this, somebody stole this too. Yeah, see, it wasn't even on clearance. And somebody just took it. So, yeah. Two things I found that were stolen. All right, and there we got some ZZ plants. Nice, 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 nice. So these will come down to 10 bucks. Yeah, they're originally like 20. So 10 bucks they will come down to. And this one seems the healthiest, like this one and this one. Actually, this one I think is the best. I love that foliage. I would probably grab this one. I probably should grab that one. Alright, so there were some cool deals inside. Uh, some nice plants, nice fresh new looking plants, which is lovely. And I just went back outside and I see these lovely, lovely hydrangeas. I'm going to show you. The hydrangea table. Well, this is only like the mop head hydrangeas with like the coloring to them, not the panicle hydrangeas because this is under the awning here, so it helps like protect them from the harsh sun. Look at that color. That is just perfection in a flower. Oh. Now remember, they had a few of these on clearance, but I mean, those, I mean, these are just like gorgeous, gorgeous. <clears throat> Some lovely blue ones here with a little bit of pink. These are the ones that you could like add like with, see, they even have like a little thing. The more blue it is, the more acidic the soil. The more pink, the more alkaline it is. And you could buy amendments to change your soil type. Look at those. Oh, that is just perfection. And some astilbes. Love, love, love some astilbes. Mine should be blooming soon. But I love the the pink flowering to these. Oh, like it's so soft. And so like I should be in a fairy garden. <laughs> and here we got some alocasias, elephant ears, as they are called. Let's see how much they are. 13 bucks. Hmm. And there's the little bee. Hi, bee. What a great deal this is, the garden tiles. I got these a few times. 17 bucks, like, for all of this. And these things just spread everywhere. So you could really just buy one of them and break it up in, like, little clumps. Or, like, you know, you could get, like, eight clumps out of these things and just spread it around. And it's a great ground cover. Another ground cover that's amazing is this ajuga. Oh, 
They have this beautiful little like purple flower. Let me see here. Yeah, that blooms. And these, these are great. They're easy to rip up too and they do spread. Um, it, again, that's what makes them a great ground cover. <laughs> lilies. Asiatic lilies, 10 bucks. I love this purple one though. Oh, purple. It's lovely. Lovely. Ah, look at that. Nice shade, loving plant with a pop of color to it. So some Veronica's, or Speedwells, they're called, but they're, you know, also Veronica's. Cool. The bees love these, and honestly, like, I know Salvia's really popular, but Veronica's and Speedwells, their blooms last so much, and they're, like, more thicker, too. They don't tend to, like, spread. So I would recommend Speedwells or Veronica's over Salvia's. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking. I love that purple. What is this one called? Vision in Purple. Only nine bucks? Oh, look at that. Look at that coloring. Oh, that's, oh, it's a sea of perfection. It's a sea of perfection. The cat mint over here, look at the bee. Oh, they got their little pollen on it, oh. Yeah, the bees love these. Love them, my battery's gonna die. I hope I can like finish up the video here. Longwort, look at the, I like just the leaves and it feels like Velcro almost. It's just cool. I love the yellow and this is okay too these really like the Sun too like they can withstand the heat once they're established I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for these when they go on clearance because I'm gonna buy a lot some more still oh my gosh this is like <gasps> look at that oh my gosh you could get a coral bell and that a still be and like look at that look how the, the contrast it's gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I've never seen a dianthus like that color. Oh, it's like a pale yellow. A little bit of apricot in there. You know? That's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, and these Coreopsis. Always stunning. Brunner, a great shade loving plant. Look at those flowers on them. They're like forget-me-not blooms. Lots of sedums. Calla lilies, I love that color. And some, looks like they got some new oriental lilies in. I mean, they haven't bloomed yet, but they're like swollen and you can kind of see the purple that, they were, that they're going to be. Oh, this one's kind of opening up. Here, let's just see the color. Woo, pretty like pink, pretty pink and purple. Oh yeah, here they are, wow. Okay, and here's some of the Veronica's, right? They have the pinks and the purples and there's bees all over this, guys. And it's midday, there's like five bees that I could see right now. Lovely. And seriously, these denim, denim and lace Russian sage, stunning. Overall winter, more upright than the older varieties. But yeah, they're great. Great, great, great. And look at these like light peachy colored. Okay, so my battery's gonna die, but I gotta show you these caladiums. <gasps> look at that. Look at that, guys. With the like speckling on them and everything. What, only like 11 bucks? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's like a shimmer of green to them. That's so neat. Ugh. Okay, and this is uh, another caladium. Oh my gosh. That is huge. Huge, guys. 